Anand ji, of course, uh, he has been learning uh, tabla, uh, you know, uh, from his childhood, and of late he took it as a full time, you know, for his tabla itself. Yeah. So, uh, well, he generally speaks during the concerts more about himself <laughs> also. So I will leave it to him. Uh, then I have my students here, uh, uh, Kiran Kulkarni uh, and uh, Shravan Kulkarni. They have been learning Sarot. They have been my older students. Kiran, just raise your hand. <laughs> Shravan. <laughs> and uh, my friends from IIT are, are here. Dilip Panikar. Uh, he has been uh, my tabla accompanist at IIT when I was studying there and uh, Shanti uh, was also at IIT when I was studying there. She was all the time a good singer uh, with well trained in Carnatic music and she used to get all the Carnatic vocal prizes as well as the Hindi light music prizes at IIT. Yeah. And, uh, my uh, sitar student, uh, Dr. Professor Sandeep, is here. Uh, he teaches in the uh, uh, university uh, here in the Jain University. Uh, Sandeep has been uh, learning sitar, and uh, earlier he learned from uh, uh, Niladri Kumar, right? Uh, Nayan, Nayan Ghosh, yeah, Nayan Ghosh. Yeah. So uh, he did his PhD from IIT Bombay, and there he was learning uh, in group from Nayan Ghosh, and now he's continuing there continuing with me okay so thank you very much and uh, of course I will leave it uh, for Anand to introduce all the other people and himself I think yeah. now uh, it's pretty much uh, left to introduce myself well, thanks to <laughs> Madhusudan ji so most of you I am meeting for the first time so thank you very much uh, for deciding to spend your Sunday evening with us as you would have noticed, uh, the uh, platform's name is Tal Magic and I started this with a very uh, small goal of promoting Indian classical music. I obviously am a tabla player and uh, through this medium I organize these uh, batthaks every month and uh, with the blessings of my gurus, uh, today is my 25th event in the series. supposed to be enjoyed like this and not in a big auditorium where you really cannot uh, emotionally connect with the musicians who are performing. So generally in these kind of concerts we have little breaks where you can actually speak to the artist and uh, generally some interesting topics of discussions come up and uh, that is something which I really look forward to and uh, very honored to be performing in front of uh, so many musicians today. It is probably the second or third event where we had uh, so many active musicians congregate, <coughs> so, which is also making me mildly nervous. <laughs> and we hope to uh, present a good show. Thank you so much. I think I will end it now and over to <laughs> yeah. So I have planned my uh, program today in such a way that I start with the traditional Darbari rag, okay, then uh, uh, that will be the Alap and the Vilambit Gat, then after that uh, I will play Charukesi uh, in the Madhya line, then in the Drut I will play something which is surprise for all of you, okay, and I am trying it out for the first time, okay, some combination of raga, okay, that will be the first uh, phase of it. And then of course, uh, after that, uh, whatever you farmaish, uh, that is okay. Today, just while we were in the drive, you know, my son said that, why don't you play uh, Mia Malhar? Then I said, okay, fine. I'll play some combination of that also. Okay. Ramdasi Malhar, some little different set to that. Okay. And uh, okay, I start, think, uh, I need to thank uh, 
Mrs. Anand ji also because she has been the one who is organizing all this here at home. <laughs> okay, and her family. Okay. My uh, IIT friend, uh, Professor Ashok Narayana Srinivas, has come here. Please come. Dayanand Sagar College, yeah, yeah, Dayanand Sagar University. He was there in Krishna Hostel with us and then all the time he used to be in my next room, you know, tolerating when I was learning and practicing day and night. <laughs> what inspired from you? Yes. Thank you very much. So we'll start, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
so some innovations i put it into this sarod okay just uh, last week only i assembled it okay so it was actually assembled and uh, brought uh, just before the covid period but i was very unhappy with the sound <coughs> electricity was also not good so uh, well i had sent it for you know uh, reducing the uh, thickness here of this uh, neck here uh, because when i'm playing here the hands wouldn't go uh, the far particularly to play the komal rishab and all that so a thought came to me that you know i can reduce this neck and i reduce the thickness by at least a half inch that's what so it has made it easier for me to play then uh, well some players usually have this problem of the nail going off you know so I was about to bring that up you know, yeah interesting <laughs> so <laughs> i have been asking from my childhood particularly i used to have a lot of problem because those days uh, my uh, nail was very very soft okay they told we were from vegetarian family they said you try you know fish scale and all that olden days so <laughs> they used that so i asked my neighbors but they gave some fish scale which was very softer than you know like the skin so i didn't know about it so then i uh, tried by the time you know this uh, cyanoacrylate this uh, fevicwick and all that came i tried all that but uh, that also didn't work i would cut one nail here and put it here and stick it okay <laughs> but you know that would give more friction for the movement because of the plastic was little uh, soft so then uh, i tried so many things i would say then uh, i came across uh, this uh, pen cap you know which we use for the ohp so i cut that and then i have uh, trimmed it into the shape like this and um, it would make some noise you know tak 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 when i am playing tan so what i would do is that you know in when i am playing alap i require more uh, length of this so because it is uh, 45 degrees if i turn it i will have more projection coming out here so because you are all engineers you understand that you know <laughs> the projection becomes little more yeah when i turn that is the reason when i play alap i am just turning this if i turn it too much it will uh, be projecting so much that it will give noise so this is one thing and because it is a full round there is no chance of it's coming off and peeling off okay so this is one of the innovations and it and uh, of course when the sarod player brought the sarod to me you know like uh, the plate you know it seemed to me hollow it was not solidly fixed so then um, i have sent it back to for the chrome plating and the chrome plating had come off even when we brought the you know the new reconditioned sarod mm-hmm. so then uh, what i did is that i started fixing the plate last week okay i saw there were gaping hole gaps here so that gaps i filled it with you know like uh, cardboard and all that and then i fitted this so that has improved the sound a lot and another thing my guruji had told of course guruji was also a engineer and he used to do lot of work at home even making the sarod at home in his garage so then he had told me and i have not tried that that you know put a, a jute kind of thing you know behind this plate that will Um, not make the plate to make this tuck tuck sound and uh, it will give more resonance so when i have done this you know like i get a good echo as if the sound is coming from somewhere else in the room so that is the kind of you know happiness i got <laughs> yeah Uh, in the instrumental music we don't decide how we will be playing that 
to and i don't know how i will be playing that but it is dwilam with teen tal
अनोखा साहब अनोखा लाडला
नाम है गुंज कानड़ा गुंज कानड़ा में जो है दोनों गंधार आते हैं और आरो में जो है वो चारुकेसी की तरह रहता है और अवरो में जो है दरबारी की तरह रहता है और उसे कहते हैं गुंज कानड़ा तो गुंज कानड़ा उसका नाम है बहुत प्राचीन राग है ये तो इस राग में जो है दोनों गंधार आते हैं मतलब आरोह में जो है शुद्ध गंधार चारू केसी की तरह जाता है और अवरोह में जो है दोनों गंधार आ जाता है तो अब हमने ये सोचा है कि जैसे ये दो गंधार वाले जो राग मैंने जितने भी आया कम एक्रॉस इसमें जो है हमेशा जो है शुद्ध दैवत ही लगा रहता है ये एक राग है जिसमें मतलब कोमल गांधार है और दोनों गांधार कोमल गांधार कोमल धैवत होने के बजाय जो है दोनों गांधार है इसमें कुछ ज़्यादा बंदिश में नहीं है इसमें और इसको मैंने थोड़ा सा मोड़ दिया है थोड़ा सा और अपीलिंग बनाने के लिए इसमें मैंने थोड़ा सा शुद्ध निषाद जो है बीच में ऐड किया है और इसमें जो है जय जयवंती का भी थोड़ा सा रूप आ जाता है क्योंकि इसमें दोनों गांधार के साथ साथ हमने मैंने दोनों निषाद भी लगाया है तो बात यह उठता है कि जब हम ये दोनों गांधार और दोनों निषाद लगा रहे हैं ऐसे राग हो सकता है बिल्कुल हो सकता है जय जयवंती आप जैसे सोचें तो जय जयवंती में है और दूसरा आप देखेंगे कि जो मूर्छान बनाते हैं मूर्छानों से राग बनता है तो इसमें जो है ऐसा आप देखेंगे कि मियाँ का मल्हार जो है आप उसका यदि मूर्छान करोगे तो जो दरबारी में से एक स्वर बच जाता है और वो स्वर जो बचता है वो है शुद्ध गांधार आप जरा गौर फमाएंगे तो सरोद में मुझे तो आसान पड़ता है वोकलिस्ट को जो है मूर्छान करने के लिए थोड़ा तकलीफ होता है तो मैं आपको ये डेमोन्स्ट्रेट भी करूंगा कि जब मियाँ का मल्हार का मूर्छान होगा तो दरबारी ना होते हुए गुंज कानड़ा होगा ठीक है क्यों ये गुंज कानड़ा होगा तो गुंज कानड़ा इज ए फुल सबसेट ऑफ मियाँ की मल्हार गुंज कानड़ा बिकम्स एक्चुअली ए मियाँ की मल्हार ओनली लेकिन आप देखेंगे कि ललित और तोड़ी दोनों राग प्रचलित है दोनों जो है एक दूसरे के मूर्छान है लेकिन गुंज कानड़ा क्यों ये प्रचलित नहीं हुआ ये जो है एक प्रश्न बन के रह गया हा? शायद हो सकता है कि लोगों ने उसको ज़्यादा मेहनत नहीं किया और ज़्यादा उसको प्रचलित नहीं किया लेकिन इस राग के बारे में एक बड़ा मतलब प्रिय घटना एक ऐसा है कि एक बहुत अच्छे गायक जो है पंडित रविशंकर के एक ही गायक शिष्य रहे तो वो जो है वो क्या समरेंद्र चौधरी तो पंडित रविशंकर के पीछे बहुत पड़े थे कि हमें जो है शिष्य बना लीजिए आप तो पंडित रविशंकर जो है नहीं मान रहे थे लेकिन आखिर में पंडित रविशंकर जी ने उनका जो है गुंज कानड़ा सुना और फिर क्या हुआ कि उन्होंने लगातार 45 मिनट्स पंडित रविशंकर जो है वो सुनते रहे इनका गुंज कानड़ा आप समरेश चौधरी का आप देखेंगे यूट्यूब में मिलेगा आपको गुंज कानड़ा तो वो जो है पंडित रविशंकर जी इतना अपील हुए फिर बाद में बोले ठीक है अभी मैं तुमको अपना शागिर्द बना लेता हूँ तो ये है उसका समय क्योंकि आपने मेरे को 45 फाइव मिनट बोला था होता है कि लोग एक तो है कि बजाने के लिए हिचकिचाते हैं क्योंकि मालूम नहीं लोग उसको अपनाएंगे कि नहीं और उसके पीछे मेहनत बहुत लगता है दूसरा ये बात है तो मैंने एक तीनों बंदिश बनाया था वैसे और मुझे लगा कि इसको जो है कुछ नया नाम तो देना पड़ेगा क्योंकि ये ना गुंज कानड़ा है ना ना ये जय जय बनती है तो मैंने इसे साई दरबार करके इसका नाम रखा मैंने और आप एक और ताजुब मानेंगे आप कि जय जयवंती जो राग है ये प्राचीन ग्रंथों में नहीं था प्राचीन ग्रंथों में इसका जय जयवंती नहीं था जबकि बहुत प्रचलित राग है 
तो इसके बारे में कहा जाता है कि गुरु ग्रंथ साहेब में जो है उसे पहले इंट्रोड्यूस किया था गुरु गोविंद जी के गुरु जो थे तेग बहादुर उन्होंने जो है इंट्रोड्यूस किया था जय जयवंती तो ऐसा भी होता है देखिए तो जो है कहीं राग जो है ऐसे लाइट म्यूजिक से या भजन से आते हैं और जो है वो क्लासिकल के राग बन जाते हैं हिचकिचाट लगता है तो मैंने भगवान का नाम आगे जोड़ दिया है कि भगवान मुझे धैर्य और प्रेरणा देंगे आप लोग के सामने बजाने के लिए तो थोड़ा गलती होगा माफ कर दीजिए और अक्सर बंदिश में ये देखा मैंने कि तान वगैरह नहीं गाते हैं बंदिश का एक पहला लाइन जो आ जाता है उसमें जो है एक नया स्वर जोड़ देते हैं और तान जो है लोग लेने के लिए जो है थोड़ा तकलीफ भी होता है वैसे ठीक है खासकर से इंस्ट्रूमेंट में प्रधान राग हो जाता है उसमें पंचम नहीं रहता है तो इसमें पंचम भी आ रहा है पंचम और ऋषभ जो है बहुत जोर से आ रहा है
इसी तरह से जो है दोनों का अंधार लगाने वाला एक मियाँ मल्हार राग है उसे रामदासी मल्हार कहते हैं ओके तो जस्ट मैं पाँच मिनट पाँच मिनट बस पेश कर देता हूँ उसका आ गया 